six. Number seven, when do you feel like it's safe to let your guard down? So we had like a little debate about this too. I feel like when you know, you know, that's kind of like goes back to I think three, where it said, how do you know you want to commit to a person? I feel like you'll know when it's safe for you to put your guard down because this person is applying pressure. This person has shown you time and time and time again that they want you, that they're committed to you, that you are who they want. You know what I'm saying? So you'll know when this person caters to you emotionally and vice versa, vice versa. But I'm just speaking like my opinion. I feel like you will know when this person is catering to you emotionally, not even that, and physically, mentally, spiritually, y'all are in the same yoke. Y'all are on the same page. You know what I'm saying? So you will definitely know, I feel like when it's safe to let your guard down. I always tell people don't let your guard down completely because you never know a person's true intentions. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't because sometimes a person can't just be transparent and just know and just tell you right off the bat. But I feel like people wake up with different feelings every day, especially now in today's world. It's super crazy. So if you're dating somebody, just be cautious and be careful. And I feel like don't give your all to somebody right away. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. I feel like you can be with somebody for seven to ten years and then wake up and not know who that person is because they might have snapped out and choking you when they hit you out of nowhere. You be like, this person never put their hands on me in their life. What's going on? So just be careful. But there are some good women and some good men left somewhere. I don't know where they not in Kansas, but they somewhere. Um, number eight, how do you feel about cheating in relationships? Absolutely fucking not. Excuse my French. People of this world and this generation normalize cheating. They normalize being the main. They normalize side chicks. Cheating is not normal in a relationship. And y'all can hate me all y'all want to. This is my opinion. So I really don't give two. So cheating is not normal. Like it's not normal for you to let your partner. I feel like cheating is a sign of disrespect. And then a lot of women, they be like, well, she can just come join our relationship. You're disrespecting yourself. You know what I'm saying? You are allowing this man to walk all over you. And no, because you're letting me know. In a way, I feel like you're telling me that I'm not enough for you. You need two, two women. And granted, each person is going to give you something different. Each female, each man is going to make you feel something completely different. And that's normal. It's normal to be in a relationship and still be attracted to somebody or still think somebody is cute, fine, sexy, or whatever. That's normal. But to go out there and actually act on your lust, no. I don't. Cheating is not normal. I don't like cheating. And that's that. And actually, I probably do a whole video with, um, I probably bring on a guest and have somebody on the show we can go back and forth. Probably a man. Because I would, I would be, I would love to see like a man point of view on why they cheat. Because most of the time, I feel like men cheat physical. Women, we cheat emotionally and mentally. If you get cheated on, you get cheated, just leave. God gonna spin the block. He always do. Um, number nine, which is the last one. What makes you feel seen in her and your relationships? I feel like a person that is showing me, a person that is listening to me, I tell him, oh, babe, you know, I like to do this in the mornings and I like to drink this in the mornings and I wake up and he got like my tea ready or he, he got like just little stuff. Like just listen to me telling him stuff. You know what I'm saying? Our right, babe, I don't like this. And he work on it. That don't mean like change yourself for me. That just mean that you hear me, you know, and I, it makes me feel heard. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel seen. I'm like, okay, you actually listening to me by doing these little thoughtful things and being considerate towards me. That was that things like that makes me feel her and seen in a relationship is that you're actually taking in account what I'm saying to you and you're actually listening to me you're paying attention to me physically emotionally and mentally it's not always about sex you know what I'm saying so a man paying attention to you emotionally and mentally once you got me up here you gonna have my heart sex don't move me people are like, oh you have sex with me you gonna be crazy and fall in love no now that I'm older, even when I was younger, it just, no, 
sex do not move me. You have to give me mentally in order for me to even consider anything. So, yeah. So that's just like a few things that make me feel hurt in my relationships. So, just paying attention to little things about me, like not even, even me without even voicing, like, oh, I like this, I like that. You just play it like my ex, even though we not together no more. It's like little stuff I would do and he'll just pay attention. But y'all, that is it for me. Like I said, this is literally part one of the Let's Talk About It series. Part two will be up soon. And I'm gonna have some guests on there, my coworkers and a few associates gonna be on there. And we gonna actually give y'all opinions of like, I want to say probably like three of us, three, three or four of us. And we gonna be giving our opinion on like love. So we got questions written down already for that. We got a date that we have to do that on. And then part three of Let's Talk About It of the series is gonna wrap up with, um, breakups and we got questions about that too so stay tuned for those videos we already got all that stuff kind of set up on dates and when we gonna record that and in the meantime i'm gonna be dropping videos in between this is talk with ty and i am ty make sure y'all like comment and subscribe i really did miss y'all my voice was gone y'all it's still kind of gone I feel like it's trying to go back away but whatever make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video